so here the Lenara Connect, uh, you have the, the new Ultra 96 development board, and uh, who are you? Hi, I'm Glenn Steiner, I'm with Xilinx, and yes, I'd like to introduce the new Ultra 96 development platform. Uh, we have integrated yeah. ARM Cortex A53 processors, R5 processors, and then our Magic Sauce, which is the programmable logic. Programmable logic allows you to take your C code and move it over to hardware and dramatically accelerate that code. And we have a couple demonstrations for you today. The first of which is our tiny yellow demonstration. As you can see in this particular demonstration, we are doing uh, person recognition as well as other object type of recognition. And this again was taken as C code, moved over to hardware using our C to HDL tools, SDSOC, and demonstrates dramatic software acceleration. In this case, hundreds to thousands of times faster. Hundreds to thousands of times faster than uh, running software on, on the A53. Than running on an arm. Just yes. On an arm. So up to thousands of times faster. Yes. And uh, what is this hybrid QNN? Is it one way of doing uh, machine learning? Um, we're actually demonstrating here different techniques uh, for uh, machine learning algorithms. Uh, the first which is the tiny yellow, which means you only look once. Uh, the second demonstration that we have for machine learning uh, is a uh, CNN, neural network. And in this particular case, neural networks, you can go and you can have floating point, 32-bit, 16-bit, and 8-bit. We've actually, uh, in our research labs, have moved from down to four bits, two bits, and in this particular implementation, we're doing a one-bit neural network. What is a one-bit? Uh, which means that uh, rather than using, let's say, eight bits of precision, you're down to one bit of precision. Now, you would think you would lose uh, accuracy, and that is true. You do lose accuracy when you're talking about the same number of neurons, but with a modest increase in the number of neurons, you're able to get the same amount of accuracy but a dramatic reduction in the amount of logic and the amount of power that is consumed. In this particular demonstration, we're showing a recognition of traffic signs. And as you can see, uh, we went out in the field and had 300 different signs collected. Uh, the database was trained on a German traffic sign database. And if you look, you will see that we are actually looking at images, and here you're seeing 13,000 images that are being recognized per second, compared to, if you're doing it in software, it would be 2.17 images per second, which means that our overall acceleration is 6,200 times faster than if you were doing it in software on an A53. So, uh, there's gonna be lots of FPGA in the AI of the future? We certainly believe that. And uh, uh, that's one of the ways you are uh, releasing RE6 boards. You want to get the, the open source community to embrace more and more FPGAs and, uh, with the Linux and all that stuff? Absolutely. Uh, we developed the Ultra 96 board. It was actually an internal development. We fielded about a thousand of these boards to our engineers within the organization. Uh, people got excited about it, said, you know what, let's go ahead and roll this out publicly, make it available to everyone so that they can start doing their own development. And then finally, I'd like to introduce the, our last demonstration, which is uh, the package that you can receive. Uh, initially, when you do the purchase, you do receive uh, just the board, as you saw earlier. And, and it, then... Is under this black part here, is it for a cooling of the FPGA? Uh, yes, under the black part, uh, we do have a small fan blows air directly onto the uh, MPSOC device. Because it runs like very fast. It runs very fast, but it only consumes a few watts. Depends on what you're doing. Okay. And uh, for our demonstration, uh, we have added the uh, Grove starter kit, which plugs directly on top of the board. And then we, in order to provide a exciting out-of-box experience, uh, we actually boot up to Linux. We have the Enlightenment desktop. We bring up a HTML-based window. Kind of like you a Chrome browser, go, uh, or maybe Firefox. Uh, yeah. You honestly yeah. don't yeah. know which no browser, <laughs> um, but probably you're correct. Probably something like Firefox.
Yeah. And uh, from the browser window, you're able to select uh, particular applications that you might want to uh, go and work with. Um, and then you can see the design. You can quickly click Run Project, which will then run the code. In this particular case, you can see it's just cycling through very quickly with different colors and descriptions on the board. And then you're actually able to then open up an HTML editor, see the code, modify the code, and create your own software applications. So you have a very nice out-of-box experience, get you quickly started with the Zinc Ultra Scale Plus MPSOC and the Ultra 96 development platform. So with the Ultra 96, hopefully, uh, uh, your hope is that there's going to be a lot of more developers working on the URS PGA. That is the objective. And they will learn how to develop on FPGAs, how to optimize code and all that, and you can use your tools. Yes, um, with the kit, uh, you have access to our Vivado design tools. Uh, so initially, you'll want to get out, uh, get started with the uh, quick introduction we have, start developing code. That code is actually run natively and compiled natively on the development platform. As you move on, you then progress into our Vivado development tools using our software development kit, which includes the Eclipse environment. And uh, from there, once you identify some code that might not be running fast enough because you've profiled it, you then use our SDSOC tools, which is included as a uh, coupon, uh, free coupon upgrade. And using the SDSOC tools, you can uh, take the code, convert it over to a hardware description language automatically, automatically replaces your software function with a call to the hardware, and you can accelerate your software. So you can just uh, program in C or C++ or something like that? That is correct. And then you, it just translated into FPGA language? That is correct. Yeah? You, you develop your code in C or C++, and then the SDSOC tool will translate it over to a high level or HDL, and the board high definition is level two forty-nine dollars uh, available very soon? The or? cost for the board is $249, uh, available about a month from now. Uh, so that's a great deal, right, to have uh, access to UFPGA, which is very cutting-edge technology, right, which is uh, stuff that goes into maybe, I don't know, rockets or something. Yes, uh, yeah? uh, you actually are right. We have been on a, a variety of different uh, technologies. Uh, our products go into all market segments. We help power the Internet infrastructure. We go into automotive applications, medical applications, industrial applications. Uh, you're talking about rockets. Uh, we were on the Mars lander. Nice. And it's been running on Mars for like seven years now or something. Yes. <laughs> so that means you have high, low temperature support, all that kind of stuff. Uh, well, we have, when they we ship have, in, we have in parts that are designed to go into space applications. Nice. And there's a new announcement with the 7 nanometers. So there's a big future with Silinx with all these very advanced uh, FPGAs that are coming soon. So if you start working on this, you would be ready for your next stuff too. Uh, that's true. We're fully committed uh, to the uh, ARM ecosystem and the uh, Lenaro uh, ecosystem. Uh, we've moved through uh, our uh, ARM Cortex A9 generation. We're now at the A53 generation. And then with our 7 nanometer announcement, we will be moving to another generation of ARM technology.